Hi, this is Lisa Crosby, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create workflows in Teams that you can trigger off messages. So you'll be able to go to a message and select a workflow that can do whatever you need, remind you later to come back to the message or create a task or notification or whatever it is you want. This is really cool. This is using Power Automate inside Microsoft Teams. So let's get started and I'll show you how it works. Here's my message in Teams. Um, what I'm going to do is set myself a reminder to come back and do something about this message later. The thing I'm going to be using here is Power Automate embedded in Teams. So Power Automate is one of the Power Platform tools that allows you to do triggers and actions and automate workflows. So to get that, first thing I'm going to do is go to the ellipsis on the main navigation menu there and just search for Power Automate, find that app, and then add it. And what this does is it brings the Power Automate capability embedded inside Teams, including a bunch of templates that work with Teams that are super, super easy to use. You don't even need to have any experience with Power Automate here because you don't need to go into the full designer. It uses a really easy sort of little wizard that just allows you to put in the parameters that your flow needs. Good tip here, pin it on the side. So you can just right click on any app actually and pin it so that it makes it easier for you to get back if this becomes one of your favorite things to work with, which I'm quite sure it will be. So we go into the create menu here and you'll see a bunch of Teams templates and you can navigate by different types. In the productivity category here, there's one called follow up on a message. Now these templates all work in a similar way. First thing that it will do is give you the flow name. You can change that if you like, and it will prompt you to sign into any connections that are required. In this case, we're only using the Teams connection. If I hadn't already used that connection before, it would prompt me to sign in and then I click create flow. If there were any other parameters required, it would prompt me for those values here, but there's actually nothing required because it's just connecting to Teams and sending a message. That's it. That's literally it. I've created my I've created my flow. If I go back to the home screen here, you'll see there it is there. Follow up on a message. And the way you can use this now is so I'll go back to my message here that has some work I need to follow up on later. I'm going to go into the three dots there again, more actions, and I'm going to find my flow. There it is there. Follow up on a message and click that to trigger it from that message. This gives me a bunch of options. Uh, I am going to choose 20 minutes just for the sake of video recording as the shortest one there, submit. And then with the magic of video editing, we will go away for 20 minutes and I will come back and show you what happens. Twenty minutes later, and you'll see I've got a notification there in my chat. Click through, and you'll see the Flowbot has sent me a message reminder. I can see some of the content of that message, and click through to get back to the message, and then do something about it. So there you go. Very easy way to set up a flow using Power Automate inside Teams to give you a reminder for your message. Lots of other templates there to explore as well. So have fun with that.